guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the 10 very best distance learning apps. So these apps are ones that we have tried ourselves, other ones that mums have recommended to me, and then just things that we do with our kids at home to help them learn from maths, science, biology, all different things like that. So it's a kind of well-rounded um, video with apps to help with a wide variety of education. So we have two children. We've got Rory who's nine and Jamie who is seven. So their learning ranges from key stage one to key stage two. So the apps I'm going to show you today are mainly going to be for key stage two kind of age, but a lot of them do have older versions, like for older children, and also a lot of them have options for younger children as well. So when you go on and have a look at them, sometimes you need to just download a different one to what I have got. Um, also, a lot of the apps I'm gonna show you have, like they're a free version, but if you want to kind of get like add-ons and things like that, you just need to pay for them as well. We use the free version and with most of the apps, they are more than enough. Um, especially if you are going to get quite a few of these different apps because the kids aren't going to want to do loads of time on one app in one day. So they can kind of like flip between each of the different apps. And then the next day your kind of lives um, get renewed. So you never really need to purchase the app. If you're watching this video and you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I post loads of different content on my channel. So if you like this kind of thing, then hit that red button down below. So with all that said, let's get straight in to the 10 best educational apps. So our first and probably most favorite maths app is TT Rockstars. Our kids started playing this probably about six months ago now and I've really noticed a massive improvement with their maths. TT Rockstars stands for Timetable Rockstars and basically it takes your kids through from the two times table all the way up to the 12 times table but in a kind of really fun way. You're kind of playing against the clock to get as many times tables right so you can earn coins which then effectively you can buy things to create your rock star. The boys absolutely love this because you need like 1,000, 2,000 coins to change the color of your rock star's hair. So they're always wanting to do more times tables to be able to buy a different kind of feature for their rock star. I've really noticed a big difference with the kids' maths. Once you know your times tables, you can kind of apply your times tables to so many different aspects of math. So it's a really, really great one. When we first got it, I paid $7.99 for a family membership which is for a year. Since I actually purchased it, our school have now purchased it as well. So every single pupil within the school gets to be on their system for free. If you want to approach your school and suggest that they get it for the pupils, then it would be free. But I also do think $7.99 for this app is well, well worth it. The second distance learning app that I think is brilliant is Duolingo. So Duolingo is a language based app and it teaches you different languages. You can choose which one you want to learn and it teaches you in a really fun and effective way. My parents live in Spain and we have all actually been trying it too. We're all on the Duolingo app. We've all got our own little profile and we have all been learning Spanish together. The boys absolutely love it and I can't believe how much their Spanish has come along. Mi madre. Es elegante. Mi casa. So with Duolingo, you can pay to have a kind of more in-depth version of it. When you go onto Duolingo on the free version, you get five hearts, which are like five lives. And if you make five mistakes, then you can't go back onto the app. And then the next day, those five lives come back to you and you can carry on with your learning. Like I said, you can choose so many different languages to learn on Duolingo. And it's just a really, really great one. So if your kids are learning a language, even for GCSE or A-level, this is a really great app to help them along the way. So the third app that I wanted to share with you for distance learning is Kids YouTube. I can't recommend this enough to be honest with you. Yes, you can watch lots of different cartoons and things like that, but you can also watch so many educational programs as well. So my kids have got really into space. They also are really interested in tsunamis. So they're really interested in going onto there and finding out how tsunamis work, like how the kind of like earthquake will then create tsunami. So I feel like even though sometimes it's on your TV and you're feeling like they're watching TV, when it is like in educational mode, it is absolutely brilliant. And you can find so many different how-to episodes. You just kind of have to monitor your kids and make sure they're not just watching the cartoons when they go on there. Another huge benefit that I wanted to say about Kids YouTube is the way that it's explained. They have a way of explaining um, science and 
biology and geography in like kids language and they make it fun as well so if I was trying to explain to the kids the same thing that a YouTube video could I just wouldn't do it justice so it's really really great for things like that this next one is not actually an app so I'm not going to count it in at my 10 but I'm going to just add it as an add-on from the kids YouTube but it's the planet earth series so obviously that's on TV as well but I find those so educational and the kids absolutely love them they have so many different sections that they cover so they do like Antarctica they do the desert they do the sea life they do the jungle and so on and so on the kids absolutely love it and so do the parents as well because whenever I watch that with the kids I feel like I am really really learning so much David Attenborough is the voiceover and he's always just brilliant in whatever he does so that's a little add-on to the kids YouTube Okay, this next app is called Dragon Box. So I have been told by quite a few mums about this app and they all rave about it. It's not free, you can't get a free version of it. If you want to buy the whole pack, it's $23.99. I haven't actually made the plunge and purchased it yet because I kind of keep feeling like, oh, I have all these different free apps which are brilliant, but everyone who has this app for the children say it's amazing. You can break it down and buy it in sections for like $7.99 a section, but I think overall you're more beneficial just by buying the sort of like complete pack because it does work out a lot cheaper. Dragon Box has loads and loads of different styles of maths games. They vary all the games massively to keep your kids engaged and entertained so that they keep wanting to play this app. This one is one of those apps that my friends say they've let their kids play for as long as they want really because they're learning without knowing. This is the brilliant thing I think about kids apps is that they have been designed so well that your kids, like I said, are learning but they don't realize they're learning. So if you're someone who is more than happy to pay that $23.99 then I definitely think it's worth getting. The fifth app that I would highly recommend is Sudoku Puzzle Games. I think Sudoku is such a good way to get your mind going. So Sudoku can be played by kids, by adults. This specific app actually has lots of different levels. So it goes from beginners to advanced. So obviously for a child, they would start off with the beginners version. But if you have been playing Sudoku for a while, you could just go straight to the advanced or the intermediate and you will enjoy it just as much. This is a really great app, like I said, for all age ranges. I think Sudoku puzzles are really great because because it uses the part of your brain for problem solving, which is a really great thing to help when it comes to children because I feel like they have so many different problems to solve throughout their lives. So this is kind of a really great base layer for them for the future. Another great app that I would recommend for distance learning is Spelling Stage. Obviously the name kind of gives away what it is. Spelling Stage is an app that caters for such a huge variety of age ranges. It goes all the way from primary school up to secondary school. When you first log onto the app, you can select which stage you are at spelling wise. Once your child has selected their stage, they then go on to hearing lots of different words and having to spell them out. There are hints and tips as well if the kids get stuck at any point and if they don't know a word. There is also a dictionary which explains the words meaning to them. What I also like about this app is that it's really good for their keyboard skills as well. You can choose from two different keyboard types as well, the quirky keyboard or the A, B, C, D, E, F keyboard. So like I said, it's just a really great app that caters for such a huge variety of abilities. If you wanted a more complex spelling app, I would suggest Your Spelling Key Stage 2. This is for like nine to 11 year olds. And the great thing about this app is it doesn't give you any clues if you play it right. So basically you listen to what the lady is saying. She does have a, have a bit of a strange voice if I'm going to be completely honest and I haven't worked out how you can change it or if you can change her voice. Identity, shoulder. But she will say a word like listen and then the kids have to try and type in listen without getting a clue of how it is spelt. If they're really struggling with a the word, they can get a hint and have a look at how it's spelt and then it goes away and they have to then try and spell it from memory. The good thing about this app, I think, is that it really encourages keyboard skills as well. So if you have the word listen, they don't only have to learn how to spell it, but they also learn to type on the keyboard for where things are or on the phone like that. I have really found that my kids' keyboard skills have got so much better since playing this game. Um, before they used to be painfully slow on the phone or on the keyboard 
but they have now sped up so much and I definitely think it's down to this app. With your spelling key stage two, there are also other options as well. You can get your spelling key stage one as well. So if you want to, instead of using spelling stage, you can get the key stage one of the your spellings and then move on to the key stage two. So the kids are kind of like transitioning into um, one from the other. The eight best distance learning app, I would say, is Free Flow. It's a really great app. It's got 2,000 puzzles, which are ideal for kids and adults, and it's almost like a brain game. You go onto the app and all the puzzles are different, so you can never learn the answers to any of them. There is an option to have an add-on here where you have to pay money for it, but I find the free one is perfect because, like I said, you get 2,000 puzzles with it. Number nine for the best distance learning app for kids is Key Stage One Science for Kids Tapity. Just like the previous app, there are different ones available for older kids, but this is really good to get the basics of science. This app is really cool because it has loads of different options you can choose from. You can learn about space, the human body, animals, plants, geology, dinosaurs. Literally, there is so much for kids to look on here, which means they will never get bored and they'll want to keep on playing this time and time again. Rory and Jamie love anything to do with science and they love anything to do with space. Rory has actually just finished a space topic within his class. So this app has given him a really good foundation about his space knowledge. So it's a really, really good app to download and it's absolutely free too. The tenth and final app that I want to share with you today for distance learning is called Homer Reading. This ranges from sort of two years old all the way up to eight years old. So this is perfect for Jamie. I feel like Rory has grown out of this app a little bit. So what you need to do when you first go onto the app is create a profile for your child. You input your child's date of birth so that the app knows how old they are and what sort of stage they should be at with their reading. You also input your child's interests as well. For example, if they like space, you pop that in so that the app can cater all the reading material to suit your child. That way you are making sure that your child is going to be engaged from the get-go. And it means that they'll be using this app more than if it was just going to be reading about something they had no interest in. Like I said, this app also caters for children as young as two years old. It takes you all the way through from phonics to blending words, all the way up to reading proper books as well. This app, unfortunately, is not free. It is actually billed at $9.99 a month or $58.99 for the year, which is very pricey, I feel. However, you do get a 30-day trial. And as long as you cancel your subscription at least 24 hours before your renewal date, then you will not be charged. So you can give it a try, see if it suits your child and see if you're willing to pay the $9.99 a month or the $58.99 for the year membership. Right, so that's the end of my best distance learning apps. I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually feel like I had so many more apps to share with you, but I just felt this video would have been so very long. So if you'd like me to do another one of these videos, please give this video a thumbs up and a comment down below so I know. I will link all the apps that I have mentioned in my description box so you can go and um, find them really easily down there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.